Megatron, why are we fighting? Somebody plug some Def Leppard into Soundwave. Welcome to a special classic game room where I bring you the review of a calendar. This is a Transformers poster calendar, Battle in the Desert Valley. Which is quite fun, except it doesn't tell you what year this calendar is supposed to be for. They usually do that. Thanks to the magic of the internet, I'll be able to figure it out. It's going to be in the 80s, obviously. And let's take a look at some of the close-ups here because we've got Starscream, Soundwave, Old School Megatron, Optimus, Prime and all kinds of good Transformers stuff. Battle in the Desert Valley. It took less than three seconds on the internet to figure out this was 1985, which is what I guessed anyway. I couldn't remember if Transformers came out in 84 or 85. Somewhere around there, but I do remember how amazing the commercials were when I first saw them as a kid and I was like, oh, I must have these. And I finally got a Transformer for one of my birthdays, I got Mirage. He was my first Transformer. And then I ended up getting a couple other ones like Soundwave and Shockwave. And a bunch of the cheap crappy ones. Transformers were really expensive back in the day. I didn't have too many good ones, but looking at this calendar makes me wish that I did. And it makes me wish I was still a kid, which I basically still am, except I'm just much larger and probably have higher cholesterol. I love the super old school Transformers designs. Back when they looked like toys that transformed into things. They weren't nearly as polished back in the day. And Soundwave, well, every kid in the 80s loved Soundwave. Because not only was Soundwave cool, and he was a bad guy, but he transformed into a cassette player. And Megatron transformed into a gun, and so did Shockwave. Starscream transformed into a pack of cigarettes. The 80s were great. Now this is obviously nothing more than a giant advertisement that you're supposed to hang on your wall, reminding kids back in the day to pester their parents every day for Optimus Prime who came with the trailer and the uh, repair droid or whatever that was. The old school Trailbreaker design looks terrible, but Jazz, of course, Scatman Crothers, is infinitely cool. Here's one of the old school Dinobots and Hound. The Hound toy was actually pretty cheap. I never had him, but a friend of mine did. I liked the uh, Lamborghini twins a lot. Sideswipe was always one of my favorites. As a calendar, this is pretty much useless, but how many important events did you have to keep track of when you were a 10-year-old anyway? Like, oh, I gotta take the kids to school and get my hip replaced. Screw that! Mom, Dad, prove you love me by buying Megatron. He's the one that transforms into a gun. Then get me Perceptor, who transforms into heroin. Did any kids have Metroplex? Or Trypticon? Like, weren't those hundreds of dollars? I always wanted Trypticon. And Omega Supreme. I, I did have Skylinks. I still have Skylinks around here, but he's suffered damage after battling G.I. Joe countless times. It's not my fault that Cobra pretty much destroyed what Transformers I did have. I guess nobody loved me. Except for Marcus from Anchorage, Alaska, who sent this incredible poster calendar to the show, which is going on the wall so I can keep track of important events from 1985. Like which Transformers I still want. The best of classic game room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hyper Vision album set. Skywarp, Predaking, Optimus, 